Tim Doherty, and I run Venice Island Purses with my daughter Jessica and my former wife Pat. We opened July the 4th on Miami Avenue at 235 West Miami Avenue. And uh, we enjoy the craft fair. It brings in a lot of customers, a lot of people that haven't seen the store before. And it, uh, it's, a, it's a fun event for us and for all the people that come downtown. Well, my name is Larry Kearns. I'm from Oxford, Ohio, and um, I'm a potter. I enjoy the city. It's beautiful. I like it. And uh, I had a good show yesterday, so um, looking forward to today. Mark Billman, I'm, I'm a jeweler and a musician too. I sell my jewelry that I design and make. I use um, use uh, silver, gold, and niobium, which is a metal that uh, you run electricity through. It turns a whole variety of colors. I use a lot of that and do a variety of different cool designs. Been been doing it for more than 30 years, so <laughs> I, I haven't gotten tired of it yet. So. <laughs> No, it's a great area. It's a wonderful area. Uh, the whole downtown area here is, is fantastic, very supportive, nice. Um, hi, I'm Jennifer Parker with Florida Dancing Birds, and I'm here at the Miami Avenue Art Fair, which is consistently one of my best shows of the year. Love coming down to Venice. Everybody's very nice, and they, they truly come out to shop, and you can't beat this weather down here. It's, it's a great community. I do native birds and then I do my kind of quirky, eclectic um, flamingos. I paint in every color and they are balanced on a rod and what makes them different is they they uh, blow in the wind and they spin around and bob up and down. I can show you, this is made from camphor, it's made from the branch of a tree. I put a secret drawer in it, some like this. I put more than one secret drawer in, you take the tray out and there's another hidden drawer down inside. I make it all from that one piece of wood. That's very cool. I use the camphor because it reduces tarnishing, so it makes a perfect wood for a jewelry box. And we've been here, we used to come here years ago and do a lot of shows here. It's been a while since we've been back, but we love the area, so we had to come by and, and uh, do another show here. It's always it's a nice, nice place to do an art show. People are really fantastic. I'm Monty Andrews, and uh, I've developed this, uh, this the uh, Venice Arboretum. I'm also a member of the City Parks and Recreation Advisory Board. About three, three and a half years ago, we were working on a project, and Fred Hammond and I were involved in a project at, uh, in the city. And uh, he brought up the idea of uh, maybe an arboretum that he had seen similar to the one in, in uh, Fort Myers. Well, I said, you know, probably wouldn't fit this project, but it may work elsewhere. Uh, but I filed it away. And later on, I was at a, a parks board meeting uh, up by Tampa. And I ran into an individual who was on an advisory board for the arboretum that they have in St. Petersburg. Well, that kind of cued my interest because he had over a hundred different palms that they had up there. And it was a beautiful park, so I scheduled a time to go up there and, and visit that park. And I thought, what a great idea this would be for Venice. So I put some things together and, and I assembled what I thought was the, was the perfect partnership. And that was the Gulf Coast Foundation, the City of Venice, and Venice Area Beautification, Inc. So we put together a plan. I approached the Gulf Coast Foundation about funding through a grant. They seemed to be amenable to the idea. I went to the city, talked to them. 
they thought it was a great idea. Parks Board okayed it, and then I got Penisari Beautification to act as the grant writer. This is a gumbo limbo tree. We've selected this tree as the uh, first one for this park anyway, and what we'd like to do is get an annual planting for Arbor Day. Arbor Day in uh, Florida is celebrated on the, the third Friday of each January. Uh, like I said, this is the, the first planting in, in, in this park, and what we'd like to do is maybe uh, just put one in each park throughout the city each year. This is an interesting uh, collection of, of palms. Uh, these were these were put here in, in honor of Cheryl Wilson, who's a retired math teacher at Venice High School. What happened was a, a, a number of her student, students got together and wanted to honor her. Now, each one of the plaques that we have are primarily dedicated to an individual. Like I said, this this particular series of trees in here, which are Bismarck palms, were donated to Miss Wilson uh, in, in honor of the, all the good works that she had done. This is Edie the turtle, and uh, Edie was uh, one of the features that we wanted to have in the park because uh, it's, it's our philosophy on the parks board that each park should have a, a drawing attraction. Well, we wanted more than just the trees, so but we, we decided that we'd like to have a, a sea turtle, which is a passion of many people in this particular area. Well, I had seen these in other parks and zoos and this sort of thing where, where people like to come out and have their there are pictures taken by uh, wild animals, uh, statues, and this sort of thing. And we thought as well as having a, something about the sea turtle in here, uh, giving information on sea turtles and so, and that, um, that we would install this and, and, and let the kids get their pictures taken with it. And it's worked. And we see a lot of kids out here either standing on it, sitting on it, playing on it, whatever. And, and so we've accomplished our mission, and that was to have a, a nice attraction in the park.